What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction. Back with some more Britney Spears. Once again, big shout out to Adam for sharing her catalog. And I realize, you know, the last uh, track wasn't everybody's favorite. I get that. I know that even in the catalog of an artist that people are very fond of, there'll be hits and misses. But um, either way, I still enjoyed parts of it. So again, people who know this channel will know even tracks that may not be my favorite. I tend to focus on aspects I enjoy and I tend to like a lot of what I hear. Nevertheless, before we jump back, because there were a couple people who said you might as well just go back to the beginning or at least, you know, listen to some of the tracks on the first couple albums before then um, listening to uh, the albums like around the turn of the millennium. But either way, I uh, figure there was a track that several people mentioned from this album and that was I Wanna Go. So I'll listen to that and then we'll jump back to the beginning. Um, and yeah, <clears throat> I want to go, it's, you know, you're indicating an eagerness or a desire to take part in something, whether that's the journey itself or whatever lies at the destination of that um, travel. So I wonder, you know, what kind of context we're talking here, given that, you know, there's been multiple tunes I've heard from her already about the dance floor and, you know, a music event where people are interacting, you know, with the backdrop of that sonic atmosphere. I feel like that wouldn't be a terrible guess, but either way, let's see what I can catch on a first listen. This is Britney Spears. The tune is I Want to Go, and it's from her 2011 album, Femme Fatale.
love that ending because <laughs> those are the two elements over the course of the tune that I keyed in on the most that metallic you know sort of rhythmic brace for the tune mixed with that very ethereal whistle synth <clears throat> so yeah ultimately it I could I couldn't crack the lyrics I heard bits and pieces but that the main line of the chorus I couldn't hear the end of it clearly but it sounds like it's talking about going the whole way, so not just the journey itself, but there's a destination somewhere, so I'm not quite sure what that is, and at one point I was like, wait, like, we talking about a party? Because I thought she was talking about, like, blowing candles out, but either way, <clears throat> it does sound like there's another person involved, another person of significance, so, um, yeah, it feels like another one where there's some interpersonal emotions perhaps taking place in the environment of... Um, enthusiasm, physicality, kinetic dancing, so not sure, but either way, um, as we've been going through a handful of tunes from this album, I have been wondering if the concept of femme fatale like relates to any of them specifically. It didn't feel like there was a notable, like clear connection in this case, but um, either way, uh, a cool track, and as I said, after this, I figure we'll go back to the beginning like a number of people suggested, but seriously, there was like three or four people who mentioned, um, that I Wanna Go was a turn, <clears throat> a tune worth listening to. I'm sorry, I don't know why my voice is dying so much. Uh, maybe because I make so many videos and talk a lot. Um, nevertheless, I shall try to recover, and yeah, as I said, we'll jump back to the beginning next time. Let me know what you think of this tune, and I will see you then. Peace.